What's up everyone? I'm sitting here today on this extremely dreary, dreary day outside. I'm watching a little bit of my friend's uh, Matt's hangout here that he had the other night, and it got me thinking that I haven't made a video in a while, which I'm sure you guys are probably aware of, but hasn't been a whole lot going on here. However, I think it's a good time right now as we get to the end of the year to just do a little bit of 2018 recap, kind of talk about some of the things that were good that happened, some of maybe the things that I learned from, and also talk a little bit about some 2019 announcements that are coming up as well. So that's coming up in this video. The 2018 season began in April and I started cutting a little bit lower at this time to just kind of wake things up a little bit. I also started cutting the front yard a little bit lower at this time in preparation for what was to come with real mowing later in the season. We then moved our plastic shed from its original location to just outside where my wife does her gardening and this is the final resting spot for the shed but my wife finally has her she shed. For the first time ever, I dethatched my Kentucky bluegrass backyard in the springtime. And what I saw after this was a grass that was a little bit stressed out going into the summer season, so I'm not sure I would do this part again. I completed my first soil test in 2018, and in 2019, I plan to do more soil testing. This is an extremely important part of lawn care. Late in the spring, a special package arrived and Swordman sent me their magnificent Edwin reel mower. From using this thing for the first time, I've been hooked on reel mowing ever since. We of course sharpened some mower blades, and the Lawn Care Nut bought me a striping kit for my Toro Time Master Mower. He and Connor Ward helped me do a little skit to introduce you guys to the striping kit. I tried to push my Kentucky bluegrass this year to 4 inches, and things did not go so well. I had some issues with fungus, and the grass laying over on itself, and something that I won't do again in the future. I also began real mowing the front yard down to about an inch and a quarter. I found some fescue mixed in, but I continued on despite the warm temperatures that were starting to set in. My malorganite application went down late in May, the sprinklers came out, and the weather was getting hot. But despite the heat, I continued real mowing, and I found some issues with fungus and some issues with nut sedge. It's mid-June now and Father's Day is here. Despite all of our warm temperatures, I think things are looking fairly good for this point in the season. I applied some growth regulator for the first time and battled with some fungus in my front yard as temperatures continued to heat up. Extreme amounts of rain set in in late June, but for the 4th of July I tried something different this year and I tried to stripe the American flag into the backyard. I experimented with humic acid and things got even worse in July with heat and lack of rain, so I let my backyard go dormant as a little bit of a test. Then things got a little bit crazy when I killed off my side yard and began a complete renovation of that area. I then began the pretty strenuous process of trying to level out this whole area with new soil and make it as flat as possible before I put the new seed down. Then there was seeding, then there was rolling, and then there was watering. And then three days later I actually already saw some perennial ryegrass pop up. However, torrential rains came and washed out a lot of my seed, so more seed had to go down. In the meantime the new shed was almost finished, and the backyard had recovered almost completely from the dormancy that happened during the summertime. I began reel mowing the renovation area with a new manual reel mower that I found on Craigslist. It turned out to be a really fun tool to use. Also during this time I had a special visitor from Swordman who came all the way from Prague in the Czech Republic to visit. Then there was fall aeration, fungus keeping me up at night on the renovation area, and I got the crazy idea to start renovating my front yard, maybe a little bit too late into the season. But I tried it anyway, and I put down a lot more soil to try to level things out. The side renovation was a complete success and actually exceeded my expectations, and the front yard lagged along a little bit as colder temperatures set in earlier this year than normal. I attended the GIE Expo this year for the first time and met lots of new friends there. It was an absolute blast. I entered my first ever lawn striping contest, and we hope to make this bigger and better next year with even more participants. Halloween was a lot of fun, and I successfully reached my goal of someone asking me if my lawn was fake. The leaves fell, and the fall cleanup came and went. Thanksgiving brought good food, family, and a beautiful day outside so I could actually do some lawn work. But now the Christmas lights are shining bright, and 2018 is about to come to a close. It was a really great season overall. 
So for 2019, of course, we're gonna be following along with what I'm doing in the yard and continuing to work on our lawn goals. But for the big announcement for 2019, I'm beginning a live stream slash podcast show that I'm gonna be starting on January 2nd at 7 p.m. Central. So mark your calendars for that. So for the first show, it's just gonna be me live streaming and talking to all of you guys so you can answer some questions and just kind of get chatting about the new year. But then I have my first guest book for early January and that's the exciting part of the show where I'm going to be having conversations with different people in the industry, different people from here on YouTube. And the whole point of the show is kind of to try to get to know everybody a little bit better, talk some lawns, but also get to know them as a person. So I will have details on that first guest as well and then I will be recording the audio for the podcast form in case you want to listen to it later on. So that is something I'm extremely excited about for the new year. It's taken me a little while here to get all this tech stuff set up. I think I have it figured out now, so we'll see what happens on January 2nd. But happy holidays to all you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.